Hello, my name is Alonso Martinez. Uh, I'm in uh, what they call the character department at Pixar. And so what that means is that we, we are in charge of uh, helping create these characters that you see uh, in the movies that are so fun to look at and uh, for me so fun to make. Um, and yeah, there's a tremendous amount of love that goes into making these characters and it really is love. I mean, uh, I, 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 I see these characters, I, I feel like they're family, you know. Um, I see them every day, <laughs> and I and I and I uh, and and we make them better every day, and um, it's a uh, and just so you have a broad understanding of, of, of what exactly that means is um, uh, they have a saying a Pixar story is king and everything is about story and nothing else really matters, and so every single person at Pixar is a storyteller, and so uh, so that means that you need to find uh, a way to help the director tell his story through your job, whatever that job is. And um, in some, you know, the writers, they, they tell a story through text. Uh, the storyboard artist uh, uh, tell a story through loose drawings. Uh, the art department uh, tells stories through shapes. And just to kind of uh, give you an idea of, of what that means is um, you have you, you have, uh, as humans, we've kind of, it's funny because we don't know, we don't uh, logically know these rules, but we intuitively know these rules. Like for example, if there was a character that looked like, um, like that, and there was like another character that looked like that, and then another character that looked like that. Uh, all right. Uh, which one's the dangerous one? I would say the one triangle. Triangle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, triangle, right? Which one's the friendly one? So so round one. Round one, right? Which one's the strong one? The last one. So it's, it's interesting, right? We develop the, this this uh, intuition for what this language is, and so what's what's really beautiful about um, animation is that you can take real the real world and you can uh, be like, you know what? Uh, uh, I'm trying to think of like Daniel Day Lewis. You know, he plays a lot of bad characters. You know, and and, and he's a pretty, he looks like a pretty bad guy. But like, what if you could exaggerate that? What what if you could take what Daniel Day Lewis looks like and and make him uh, look even meaner through using exaggerations like this shape language? And that's exactly what we try to do with uh, with Butch. Uh, so we take characters and. We know what they're supposed to feel like, and we exaggerate it, and we push it, and and it's a lot of fun, because uh, in that process we get to take all that data, and we uh, simplify some stuff. So we're like, we don't care about that, that kind of detail. We don't care about it. And there's other kinds of detail that we're like, we love it. Let's find a way to highlight it, show it, exaggerate it, and uh, and so. The, the first part of uh, the first part of uh, my job is making these sculptures inside of the computer. I get the drawings, like the, like the one that I'm, I'm gonna make for you guys, and I make a digital sculpture inside the computer. And then um, and here's the theme the theme song I'm taking over. And and then I start. Uh, so it's it's a it's a motionless sculpture that is just kind of like in what we call like a, a T pose. It's like this very default pose. And we build all of the controls to be able to like move them around. And uh, I think we have a, a, a video later of me playing around with a puppet. It really is like a puppet. You can grab it from the arm and you can like move it around and you can like change this finger and you can change all, you can change every single part of the character slowly. And, um, one, one really cool thing about when I first started at Pixar is uh, I remember going through the, the training program, which is about two weeks. Uh, uh, I, I, I trained probably, but for another four years in, in reality, but the, uh, the, the formal training is, is two weeks. And I remember being new and it's so much fun to play with these puppets and they were showing us how to use the software. And I remember I was like kind of like, 
snooping around and I was like, oh, now that I know how to, how to use this power, you know, I want to see what else I can do with it. And I opened up uh, the model for, um, for Woody and uh, and all of a sudden just, I, I, I think I saw Woody, someone else like turn it on and all of a sudden Woody appeared and I was like, whoa. And I like, and I remember like spinning around and I like, and I like grabbed his arm and I was like, it's nice to meet you. Because <laughs> I felt like, I mean, it's just real, it's, it's the real Woody. It's, it's the Pixar Woody. It's, it's those bits, the, those bits of information that live inside of Pixar computers that made that movie. You're meeting the famous person, you know? And so I felt like I was meeting a famous person once. Uh, and it's funny because that level of, uh, of, of uh, believing in these characters are exactly what make the audience care about them. And so you find slightly weird people like myself that like, you know, <laughs> believe these things are real in hope that you know, all of the rest of the weird, you know, or, or all of, like we're all, you know, uh, uh, all the rest of the people will believe it in the same way that I do. Um, and, uh, and, and yeah, and so we get to work with the animation department and the art department, and uh, it's, it's, it's really fun. Uh, it's this, uh, the thing that I love the most about Pixar is that it's this nice blend in between technology and art, and, uh, and it's, <coughs> it's fun to talk to artists and to talk to engineers, and to both of them, I'm just like, how can we make this work, you know? Because um, I, 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 I feel like lucky enough to have both of their vocabulary, so I, I, I think art department is a bridge in between it, like engineering and art, and it's, it's an awesome, fantastic place to be. Yeah. Uh, you guys have any questions? I can keep... Well, when you're building a rig, don't you have to have some sense of what the story arc is, as in what the character is going to be called upon to do? In a movie, I mean, there's big emotional scenes, there's big action scenes, that sort of thing. Uh, yes, definitely, and we're, we're constantly uh, looking at story reels and and uh, and kind of like analyzing. Uh, you know, I, I I always look at I always look at the story reels. If I'm making a character, every single new character that I get, I'm like, nope, I know that I saw the story before, but now I need to see the story with the focus of what is this character going to do, you know, and uh, make sure that the range of acting that are really loosely indicated in the storyboards that my digital puppet is going to be able to do all those things. And there's a lot of planning involved, like, like every single character has different problems and, uh, and, and solving them requires, there's just different challenges. 